Over the years, I've built up quite a collection of AI writing assistant tools to help me with my blogging and content creation, and I decided it was time to put them to the test. You see, a large number of them have recently come out with updates that allow you to give the software a title for your article and it will produce a full blog. Now each of these operates in slightly different ways so I've discounted any software that doesn't allow you to put in a title and get out a post. I've used anything where a large amount of manual work is required. So as an example I use Crawl Q quite a lot but to get the most out of that, you have to set up a workspace for a particular persona, allow the AI to do a load of research, and then you can start creating content. So I've not used that in this test. That left me with nine different websites to test out, but then out of nowhere, a brand new AI writer for Windows came out. Now this is a little bit different because this is a piece of software you download to your computer and you can generate blog posts via the interface. You simply put in the title, press OK, and it goes off in the background to generate a title and then dumps it into a text file. It has quite a few different options. I've just used the one-click blog post generator. For the website platforms, I've selected the one-click blog post option where it's available and I've put in a post title. Where it has come back to suggest a post structure, I've left it completely alone, haven't edited any of these outlines or subheadings, and I've simply clicked generate. So it's click, click, click until it generates the output. Each of the tools operates in roughly the same way. You give it the title, it goes away, you wait a few minutes, and then out pops a completed blog post. Now, I would never just post the draft article as is. I always use these as a really good starting block, which I can then build on by adding my own writing, research, images, videos, whatever I can do to make this a better and unique piece of content. But for the purposes of this test, I've simply copied the text directly from the output and pasted it into the next set of tools. The first one being the Hemingway app, which gives you a readability score and you want to aim for grade nine or 10. A higher number like 14 or 15 would tend to indicate this could be confusing and tedious for the reader. So a good performance from AI writer Kateb Outranking and Niches, and it's worth noting that at the time of making this video, Kateb and Niches are still on lifetime offer via AppSumo. The next test I did was using the Writer's Zen inbuilt plagiarism checker, and I was pleased to see that they all passed. Anything less than 3% is fine for me because you're bound to get a few false positives when you're writing about something, you're very likely to come up with similar titles and headings. I then ran each article through phrase to get the optimization score as well as the originality score. That originality score basically checks to see not if you've strictly copied it word for word, but if paragraphs seem a little bit too similar and it looks like it's just been reworded. Again, I was pleased to see that there was no real issues with this. On optimization, the phrase scans the internet and decides what topics people have covered and checks to see if your article includes them, so a high number is better. I wasn't surprised to find Outranking did very well as Outranking is very similar to Phrase in that it does something similar, it searches the internet before it writes the article. I was pleased to see Kateb doing very well, that's a new tool, I've not really explored that very much. And AI Writer for Windows did well considering I just used the one click blog post rather than the SEO optimized. I have tried the SEO optimized and that can get it much closer to 100%. Market Muse is a similar tool to Phrase, but in this case, it calculates a target score, an average score, and your content score. The closer to the target score, the better. And we see a similar pattern again. Outranking does incredibly well. That didn't really come as a surprise. That's one I've been using for some time, and it always performs excellently. AI Writer for Windows, again, performs very well, and so too does ContentBot when checked by Market Muse. I've not used ContentBot for too much long form, but it is excellent at short form. Finally, I decided to run each article through the Unfluff checker. You paste your article in and it will tell you how much fluff is included. A lower number is worse, higher number is better. Interestingly on this, everything gets tipped around a little bit. Here we see three completely new top three and some of the previous high hitters, such as AI Writer for Windows, actually didn't perform that great at all but you'll see the heavy hitter of outranking just drops to fourth in that particular test. 
But overall, that's a very strong performance from outranking Kateb and AI Writer for Windows, although it was interesting that they didn't do as well in the fluff test. These results track with my overall experience. I do tend to use outranking a lot, and those that performed not so well, I haven't really touched them for a while. They might be okay at short form content. And that's the other thing to remember is there's a lot of these tools that have multiple uses. So tools like outranking and AI for Windows are really only for producing blogs. But when you get to things like content bots and rank cream, they have a load of extra tools. And I make use of these a lot. They've got a lot of short form tools, whether it's generating text uh, for use with promotional material or doing outreach campaigns, those tools are fantastic at that. They just also happen to have this one-click blog post. All the tools mentioned are linked down below. There are some affiliate links there which help support me and the channel. And if you want to see how an AI tool can be used to generate a load of material for a new company, click this video.